Welcome to the Depot Sports Notebook, your daily WVU sports roundup at thedepost.com. The last time WVU fans saw linebacker Jared Barber in uniform, his 2013 football season was coming to an end with a torn ACL, suffered on the final defensive play during an overtime loss against Texas. Now, little more than 16 months later, Barber is set to make his comeback when the Mountaineers open their spring workouts on Sunday. Barber, who redshirted as a senior this past season, is already slotted in as WVU's starting middle linebacker, helping mitigate the loss of the recently graduated West Tonkery. And Barber's return to the lineup gives the Mountaineers another established leader on an already veteran defense. With Jared, I feel like we have 10 starters back, WVU defensive coordinator Tony Gibson said. He's had a year and a half to lift weights and rehab, and he looks good right now. But the thing that makes him so special, and he has a lot of good qualities, is that he excels as a leader. I love the way he leads this team and this defense. When he talks, guys listen. Barber didn't just spend the past season rehabbing from his knee injury. He spent it actively working alongside WVU's players and coaches, developing his knowledge of the defense and putting himself in position to jump right back into live action. Jared is really comfortable in the middle, and he's got a bunch of experience, Coach Dana Holkerson said. He can run this defense in his sleep. He's a coach on the field. He was in meetings five years ago with Coach Castile. He's been here a long time, and he's played a lot. He was pretty valuable to us a year ago. He was basically a student coach. Now he's a player coach. Baylor head coach Scott Drew doesn't claim to know the secret of how to handle the full-court pressure supplied by the WVU men's basketball team. And WVU head coach Bob Huggins isn't about to turn his head from Baylor's success. If you listen to the TV announcers during both of our games, you hear them talk about the ball doesn't stick, Huggins said. They pass the ball. It doesn't just stick to one guy. Drew has racked up 227 wins in his 12 seasons at Baylor. He simply said the Bears have stayed away from live ball turnovers that lead to fast-break scoring opportunities for the Mountaineers. What the Mountaineers can't get away from is the barrage of three-point shooters the Bears will throw at their opponents. They're probably one of the toughest teams in the Big 12 to guard, WVU guard Javon Carter said. Them and Iowa State, and it's because both teams have so many shooters. Baylor proved that in two victories against WVU during the regular season hitting a combined 14 three-pointers and never shooting below 51% from the field. The 16th-ranked and number 4 seeded Bears are hoping for the same Thursday in the Big 12 tournament quarterfinals when Baylor takes on number 18 and 5th-seeded WVU at the Sprint Center.